Scammers these days are getting more sophisticated by becoming less sophisticated. Sometimes, the simplest solution is the most elegant one, and that holds true for the people out there who have no scruples about taking something out of your car, stealing it, then selling it. If you're out and about, looking around like you're minding your own business and going about your day, keep an eye out for these simple and sneaky ways that a scammer might be targeting you next. Number 10. Stealing a car with a tennis ball. Car thieves have figured out how to pick the lock of your car door using just a tennis ball. First, the thief burns a hole into the tennis ball using a hot screwdriver over a kitchen flame cooker. Then they take this magic tennis ball with them to break into some cars. When they find yours in the car parking lot, they hold the tennis ball up to the door with the hole they made over the keyhole. Then they smash the tennis ball as hard as they can, and the air pressure this forces out of the tennis ball pushes into the keyhole and disengages the lock mechanism on your vehicle door. Now they have access to steal any of your belongings that you've left in the car. They can even use other sneaky methods to get your car to start and drive it off. Number 9. Tinder Con Artists The romance scam is an old confidence trick that's taken on a new life in the era of dating websites and apps. Say you stumble upon your dream match on a dating app and are soaring high when you find that they like you too. The only problem is they live in a city far away, but love knows no bounds and you begin to kindle a long-distance relationship. After weeks of exchanging dotting love letters, you and your love interest plan to finally meet up in real life. The only trouble is they need you to send money so they can buy the plane ticket. When you do, they suddenly have a crisis and need your help to pay for some unexpected urgent expense like a sick family member's hospital bill or something of that nature. Then they disappear and you never hear from them again. The more sensitive and generous you are, the more vulnerable you are to this sneaky trick. You may think this is very obvious, but people seriously fall for it. Detter Phil has exposed numerous victims of this scam, with one woman being scammed for 1.4 million in 17 months. Number 8. Spoofing your key remote. Car thieves are also using sophisticated technology to steal cars, especially expensive ones with keyless entry and remote start. They're using electronic devices that spoof the signal people's legitimate car key fobs send, tricking the car into unlocking and even starting up. Earlier this year, one thief was caught on someone's home security camera using this method to steal their car. The thief stood at their front door and held a bag up to their house while a couple slept. Then he walked over to their $75, thousand BMW and drove it away. Police think the bag contained a device that communicated with their key fob, learned its unique signal, and repeated the signal to the car. The only known countermeasure for this new technique is to keep your key fob in a closed tin or a special Faraday pouch, a flexible metallic fabric designed to block electronic signals. Number 7. Flyers on your front door. Ever wonder how burglars think? They operate in a high-risk, high-reward criminal world, and the risk is they go to prison or end up facing down a shotgun when they break into the wrong house. Burglars have to be extremely good at what they do. They're quick on their feet, crafty as snakes, and know exactly what they're doing when they rob a house. If you're in a neighborhood that doesn't usually get solicited and suddenly find a flyer on your door, be on alert. Your house may be getting cased for a potential robbery. Burglars always scope out a place before they rob it. They'd look for places with lots of cover, like tall fences and lots of trees or shrubbery. They'd look for indications that your house will have a lot of valuables making their risk worth it. They'll also check to see if you have a security system. An easy way of doing that is posing as a normal non-criminal person and sauntering right up your driveway. To put a flyer on your front door as they look around and scope out your place to determine if it's a good target. Number 6. Breaking in with a rubber band. Today we have modern state-of-the-art home security systems and app-connected surveillance cameras. Yet burglars can resort to the simplest, yet incredible, effective, and sneaky techniques to break into homes. Last year, a Texas woman had the fright of her life. A close encounter with a criminal attempting to use one of these techniques to break into her house while she was there alone. During the daytime, the woman heard someone pounding on her front door, but her instincts told her something was off. So she remained quiet and didn't answer the knock. After waiting 30 minutes, she carefully opened her front door and it was perplexed when she found a rubber band wrapped around the door. 
her local sheriff later told her burglars can barge right in as soon as you unlatch the door. Using this method, it's the latest variation of an old method criminals have been using for years to defeat hotel room door chain locks with a rubber band and break into steel valuables. Number 5. Knock, knock robberies. Perhaps the sneakiest and most terrifying way burglars are getting into people's houses is by tricking you into letting them in. They're called knock, knock robberies, and they happen all over the country. Someone comes knocking at your door, and you open it without thinking twice. The burglar is dressed in a utility worker's outfit. They say there's a gas leak or some other emergency in your neighborhood, and they need to come inside to check it out. In one city, a burglar did this and distracted the homeowner while his accomplice entered the house to steal all its valuables. It was all caught on surveillance tape. In 2015, a network television station sent a reporter undercover trust as a utility worker and was floored by the number of people who let him right in without question. Number 4. A penny in your car door. People around the country have been finding coins stuck in the passenger door handles of their vehicles and wondering what the point of that was. Apparently, all it takes to steal a car or steal something out of a car is a penny or a nickel. What the thief does is slide a nickel or penny under the door handle of the passenger side door. While your car is sitting parked outside your driveway, place of work, or store parking lot, then they follow you in their car. The coin keeps your handle just slightly open, so when you hit the button to lock your car, the passenger side stays unlocked. The coin in the door handle keeps the locking mechanism from engaging. Then after you walk away thinking your car is locked, the thief opens your door and steals any valuables you've left in the car or if they know how they can even steal your car itself. Number 3. Keystroke loggers. Keystroke logging software can be installed by anyone on your computer. Hackers looking to steal your identity can install it remotely through downloads with malware or over unsecured Wi-Fi networks. Sneaky identity thieves can install it on your work computer in a shared work area or on computers at internet cafes. In a video uploaded last year, the worst thing I've ever done. Even PewDiePie, who runs the most subscribed channel on YouTube, recounts how he used a keystroke logger to steal someone's video game account when he was only 12 years old. A keystroke logger does exactly what it sounds like it does. The program logs each and every keystroke you type, recording username, passwords, credit card numbers, and other sensitive personal information. One way to tell if your keystrokes are being watched is by using your task manager to view all the programs that are running on your computer by googling anything suspicious that you can identify. You can determine if there's a keystroke log to quietly run in the background as you use your computer. Number 2. Burglar Markings Be careful if you find an ominous or strange marking in chalk or paint on the street outside your house. Burglars may be casing your neighborhood for a house to rob. People have reported break-ins after noticing these markings outside their house. The burglars are using a secret code of special symbols to tell other criminals which houses to target. The markings may indicate that your house contains a lot of valuables or that there's nothing worth stealing. They may reveal to other burglars who is in the house, such as an elderly couple or a vulnerable female living alone. A simple X means the house is a good target. A capital D with a hash through it means the house is risky to break into. Five circles in the shape of a star indicate the homeowners are wealthy. Police are asking people to be aware and report strange markings to authorities. Number 1. ATM Skimmers If you notice anything weird about the card scanner on an ATM machine or gas station pump, you may want to drive to another ATM or gas station to conduct your business. Identity thieves looking to steal your credit card information are increasingly installing credit card skimmers over the card scanner in these locations. When you slide your card in to pay or withdraw cash, the skimmer picks up all the electronic information contained on the magnetic strip of your credit card. Now, the scammers have your credit card info and can go on an expensive shopping spree with your credit card. If the edges of the card scanner seem uneven, or if you notice a little bit of glue along one of the edges, save yourself a mountain of stress and don't put your card in. Which trick did you think was the sneakiest? Can you think of any more that people should know about? Leave me comment down below to let me know. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for watching.